Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the World in 80 Planes. Recently when I've been uploading this series to YouTube, after having checked everything out and made it public, YouTube has decided to drop the resolution on the video, drop the bitrate and make it all pixelated. And that is apparently because it's not getting enough views. So they don't want to use as much bandwidth, at least that's what people I've uh, seen talking about the phenomena have said. And they suggest that there's basically two different encoders and one that makes it all look crappy and one that makes it look good and the good one is reserved for videos that get a certain amount of views and well that tracks with my experience because that is the only thing that explains why some of my videos go that way and some of them don't uh, but yeah so to force the good encoder they suggested um, recording things in 1440p so I'm trying that out and we'll see if that works and yeah, so that is the best solution I can find because, you know, I can't magically wish for more views and, you know, I didn't expect this to be the most um, viewed series of my YouTube. I suspect that part of the problem is all those Apollo 11 videos that I uploaded that didn't get too many views. Maybe that put me on a list of people who should get this treatment, I don't know. Anyway, well, we'll try this. So it, may, it might be the case that you only see the good video if you're watching in 1440p. I don't know. Um, I don't know the rules. I'm just going to experiment and see what happens. So with that caveat, we are in a Piper Cub. We are flying from Milan to Genoa. And so it's a fairly long trip for the Piper Cub. But the Piper Cub is fun to fly even though it's a tail dragger. So we're in the traditional yellow and I'm going to continue with the Apollo 12 audio as we've been listening to it so far. Okay, that seems to be started properly. All right, hopefully I don't make a hash of taking off in a Piper Cub. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. The wind is actually a little bit strong. Okay, up. Uh, come on. Okay. So, first we actually have to go over to Milan. Sorry, I was, uh, I need to open up my little tool to see where the heck I am. Oh, yeah, I can see it from here now. I think I'm really close to stalling. Probably fall up. There we go. Yep, making a hash of a Piper Cub. Genoa is a very nice city to visit. By the, by the sea and everything. It definitely makes it very clear why people from Genoa would be interested in trading and going out across oceans and such things like that. No. Must be mine hitting your foot pad, Zip. Yeah, I'm in Ag Pulse. Okay. Okay, we need Make to sure. go over to this side. Oops, sorry. Intrepid Houston with a K-Factor update when you're ready to copy. I don't actually know what the K-Factor update is. Go ahead Houston, ready now. Roger, R1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. R2, all zips. R3, Maybe 0, 0, that's the adjustment. 0, 7, 3, over. Because of mass concentrations? I don't know. Roger, That's a random zero, guess. Zero, one, zero, zero, all zero, 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 seven, three. Affirmative. Well, we need to get higher so that we don't have crappy ground textures. Let's go. Come on, little Piper Cup. You can do it. Okay, maybe you can't do it. You were fast on that one, Houston. Okay, firm. I think I should just let it pick up some speed.
There we go. Honestly, it's probably better to just fly inside the cockpit than outside for this plane. It's not like the view is very obstructed. It's behind us. Intrepid Houston. Go. Uh, Roger, if you've got time, Pete, can you give us another Verbo 6 down 20 at this attitude? Yeah, we got time, Dick. Yeah, stand by. I'm loading uh, 89 right now. Okay, I'll stand by. Okay, I'll stand by. Start my Houston little plug in. R1, reach plus three balls, four, four, R2, plus two, six, nine, Ooh, five, six, that's R3, some serious. Oh, zero, okay, zero, well, zero, they'll have to knock down the scenery just a little bit. Or more precisely, Roger, Clipper, go ahead and not it. render the further away scenery. You can see this is okay, uh, fully Houston filled, plus, but two, the stuff nine, nine, two, eight, further ahead plus, is zero, not. Eight, nine, five, two, plus three, five, nine, three, four, the time, one, oh, six, one, five, Five five. Roger at one oh six three five five five. Clipper plus three zero four four plus two six nine or five six plus three zero five four. Intrepid plus two nine or nine or two eight plus zero eight nine or five two plus three five nine or three four. At the Charlie. Roger, that uh, GET was 1061555. Affirmative. That's firm. So, I'm gonna trust that people know what a Piper Cub is, I think. I don't have to introduce this plane, right? Okay, here's It does the, appear uh, to have pitch trim, which is nice. Make sure I got this right. It seems to me we're complete through 107 hours. Or act. 46, we're standing by to pick up with the rendezvous radar self-test and Ag's Cal. You see anything before that we haven't done? Uh, give us a second to review, Pete. We think you're okay. Okay, smoke her over. I don't want to leave anything out. So this is Busto Arcizio. Outside of Milan. Intrepid Houston. With you, Pete, uh, you're at 107. Okay, I think that's going to work real good then, because uh, while Dick's not firing any thrusters, Bragg's Cal will get the rendezvous radar self test out of the way. Roger. Let's see what happens when I turn this off. Uh, okay, we don't seem to get track. any buildings yeah, down here. And it's gotta come down to 22 before I'll okay, well, over. anyway, we passed whatever was causing the lag before. Okay, you know where you are? Sure, I smoke it over the scenery out in front of me. That's good. Okay. 
Let me know if you see the snowman when you go by. Okay. <laughs> Houston, it's trepid. We forgot to give you our RCS helium pressure. It's about 29. Roger, Al, thanks. The highway to our left is the A8. It's okay, the limp was outside when I gave it to you. And we'll follow that into Milan and take another highway out. McKenzie was over here seeing what he forgot. Right now on the highway we can most prominently see some a police car there, but there are other cars. That's a negative dick. Uh, next charge is 13130. Going to top gear, the Italian police drive some really fancy Gotta stuff. Make an SPS burn on that battery. It's down quite a bit. Not too sure how how accurate that is, but Roger, Dick. Uh, we'll, we copy and uh, we'll reevaluate it. I have missed one along the way. I'm not sure. So I updated X-Vision. I'm not entirely sure it's working perfectly, but I, it seems like the distance rendering is working a little bit better here than it did okay, yesterday. And it, there was a... Good job. There was a particular line that I had to fix I know that. to deal with the cloud problem I was having before, but I wouldn't say that the cloud problem is totally perfect yet. So, we'll see. Happens to be a clear day here in Italy. Uh, we are going with real world weather. I feel like I'm too high because I think I don't see any cars I'm trying to descend a little bit. How you doing, Clip? Okay, man, it's 106.30. I'll be starting to pitch over, so hang on. Okay, we'll be watching our antenna. We're still on high game. So aside okay, from Aside from X Vision and Ortho 4 XP scenery, uh, which is the photo scenery, there's also sim objects, the VFR landmarks, um, which is why we see all the churches and all the uh, all the VFR landmarks have been placed by uh, sim. I think it's called Sim Objects. It's a website where they have all the VFR landmarks and freeware packages, so you don't have to pay for those. I don't have any payware scenery per se. Uh, uh, X Vision okay, is payware, but that's a that's a um, enhancement plugin rather than actually a scenery package. Otherwise, the buildings are all you know from some freeware or another. In some cases, like Very my Manhattan is actually imported from Flight Sim, so that's a little bit different. There is a freeware thing to import scenery from Flight Sim into X-Plane. It does not work so well it, it, always. I mean, it, it's it's a bit finicky. I have had mostly bad results. I mean, well, especially when it comes to places with varying terrain, varying elevation. If it's flat, it's easier. But even then, like in Manhattan, I got buildings in the water for some reason, so... I, I wouldn't say it's the best thing. Boy, oh boy, Houston, do we have a fantastic view of Copernicus! I think we heard this part before. Maybe I Roger, set the marker a little bit early? Hey, Pete, my boy. I thought hey, I remember Pete, him talking about Good the view show, of Copernicus. Richard. How's the snowman look, Dick? Okay, we owe Houston... 
I think the snowman is not a crater formation, I'm not sure. Okay, now we can see the cars on the road. Hey Dick, I don't know if you can see it, but if you can't, you gotta take a look at uh, Copernicus there. That is really something else. Yeah, I definitely remember hearing this, but then again, I've heard the audio before, so it's a little bit difficult. And uh, we are on uh, 0620. Whenever you get stopped. I'm uh, just looking at Copernicus. Just let me know when you got the data. Hit that stop. Roger, Clipper. Yeah. Still going, approaching Dick? Milan, by the way. I'm pitched to 158. Clipper, you well, said, uh, we have pitch. your data. What are these okay. things? Are those all, like, power? Okay, that's for, uh, what? Powers there? For yeah, I guess so. Okay, very good. Lots of power distribution happening over here. Pretty nice down here, Pete. Some sort of power station, perhaps. I hope so. I do wonder why the well, Autogen hasn't placed buildings in all the little that places that buildings seem to be on the ground the texture. The the doesn't the seem like it's because it of like the plug-in. So just... Uh, Roger, P. Right. Clipper, we got your uh, P-22 data. Didn't assign any buildings to those areas. Certainly assigned a whole lot of buildings to the area in front of us. Okay, Dick, let me know when you can, uh, when, when you're steadied up. So regardless of whatever YouTube is going to do to the videos, I'm going to do the flights and I want a video log of it, so, so okay, I'll just keep going mark. at it. Four, three, two, one, mark. If there's any processing trick that I can use to solve the problem, I'll go with it. But I tried. I tried. I tried re-rendering the previous video, as I do all my other Kerbal Space Program videos, okay, you can and that did not work. So on the map it says Area X Expo Milano 2015 for this area here. Yes, uh, there was an expo six, here at some point. Attitude, Doesn't and, look uh, we're standing by. well. I mean, on the map it looks like rectangular buildings as we have here, but I don't know. Doesn't look very hey, Ron, much wait. like an expo. Good show. But I don't know necessarily what an expo should look like from the air. Maybe I'm wrong. We are approaching the heart of Milan now. And the highway we'll be taking south is the A7. We've been following the A8. I think... Uh, we shouldn't follow this highway down here. I'll turn away from the city center which we want to fly over. 
we should just follow the train tracks we have here. To Porta Garibaldi. Generally, uh, I download, you know, big scenery packages off of Explain 11 forums. So I do have a lot of... Uh, Roger at 1064030, Clipper plus 00779er plus 15745 plus 02348. Intrepid plus two nine one seven five plus three three seven three seven plus three three six three eight. On our right wing is a cemetery. Yeah, so VFR landmark packages Roger. in general. Anything that says VFR landmarks, I probably got off okay, of the forums, uh, the freeware. Cooper, would you uh, disable thruster B three, please, sir? Or are you in free? How about if I go free? You can get the whole. Free is even better, and make sure your radar transponder is off. It is off, and I'm in free right now. So this is the heart of okay. Milan. And we are turning south. Okay, uh, I've turned too far. And Trumpet Houston, uh, when you get a two uh, and data, we have a pip of bias Genoa. update for you. Uh, there's a park on our right wing. What'd you just do, Clipper? Parco Sempione. Nothing, I didn't do anything. I heard a big clunk somewhere. I don't know if there's supposed to be little castles there. Well, I've been accused of a lot of things, but that's the worst. Well, I hope I can get to Genoa before dark, though. And Trumpet Houston, over. Mm, the sun is pretty low on the horizon. Go ahead, Houston. Intrepid. Roger, uh, if you'll give us uh, poo and data, we have a tip of bias update for you. You got it. Roger, it's on the way. So, where is the highway we're supposed to be following out? We're not there yet. At the location where we meet up with it, it should be just a little bit ahead. Oh, maybe it's this? Yeah, maybe it's what's and right under us right computer, now. George. I think that's DA7. Thank you. Clipper, Houston. Roger, Dick. Uh, battery Alpha is uh, in real good shape. It's only got seven amp hours missing. Okay, I'm happy if you're happy. So, the way I have it, basically, we're listening to the audio directly from Sony Vegas. I cut out all the silences. Houston, we got a uh, program alarm, 1106. Yeah, I swear Up we've heard percent. this before. Roger, Pete. And I have a marker where I left off, you see, so that I know where to pick up. But I'm starting to get afraid that I didn't actually move that marker. 
after the previous flight. Yeah, traffic Houston, we're checking into that alarm. There was no uplink coming at the time. Okay, I just started activating the rendezvous radar. I don't know if that ain't to do to with it. The total distance to Genoa is 73 hey, uh, nautical miles. That uplink again. Uh, we might have that program alarm and not notice it. But we're not really flying a straight line because we're following the highways. Yeah, traffic Houston, uh, we oh. didn't see the alarm. Highway lights we just uh, oh, we well, think, uh, some lag the as they turn on. Okay, what do you think? Just a spurious alarm? Don't know, Pete. Uh, we'll look at it a little deeper here and come back at you shortly. Okay. Of course, I seem to wander a little bit. Dick, they look real fine. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, uh, Houston, uh, running the rendezvous radar self test, and uh, my X meter power is low according to my book. I got 2.65. Let me give you all the numbers. ATC was 1.65. Xmeter was 2.65. Shaft error was 22 to 26. Trunnion error was 22 to 26. Also, my tape reads 490, 493 and a half feet per second by 500. And the tape meter reads 195.2 miles by 194. How, how's that grab you? Down up ahead is called Benasco. Uh, Roger, stand by. We'll look at it for a second. Benasco. Intrepid Houston, uh, if you want to read out this tip of bias, we sent you to check it out. Go verb 01, noun 01, and check out address 1452 and 1456. Over. Understand. Roger, what should they read? Roger, 1452 should read 77116, and 1456 should read 01573. 1452, 77116, and uh, 1456 should read 01573. That's affirmative, Pete. Let me know when you're through with your rendezvous radar, and I'll get my transponder in the act. Okay. They're obviously checking out stuff for when the ascent module has to come back and make the rendezvous. And then the command module has to dock with it. Good to check that out before Houston, they depart. Intrepid Houston, go. Just completed the Ag Cal. Looks like the Ag Pass is flying colors. 
540 was minus 00013. 541 was minus 00003. 542 was plus 0004. 544 was plus 0004. 545 was plus 00019. 546 was all zero. Roger, copy. Pepper, uh, 40, minus 0013, minus 0003. Zero 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 One at a time, please. Plus 0004, zero 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 plus all zeros 4, plus 00019, and plus all zeros. Now, my pronunciation of Italian is the only one that horrible. Significantly was 544, which changed from a minus 6 to a plus 4. Out. To the right is Casarante Primo, and to our left soon is the city, uh, that, that collection of bright lights where a whole bunch of highways seem to intersect is Pavia. Yeah, are you through the X calendar, X? That's a permit. You are. I'm going to go ahead and maneuver to the undocking attitude, okay? Good idea. Okay, Houston, uh, just Finally, we're getting the, somewhere. Uh, Undocking. Come on, guys. And those registers are loaded correctly. The uh, radar passed uh, all the checks correctly except the one number that I gave you. Everything else worked fine. Uh, Roger, Pete. Uh, your rendezvous radar uh, looks like it's pretty good. The transmitter power is a bit low, but it's go. Okay. Well, maybe it'd be better if I had higher resolution photo scene retextures of the area. I thought I had gotten level 16 instead of level 15 for this area, but not sure. And trap at Houston. I mean, it sure doesn't look like level 16, so. Go ahead, Houston. Roger, uh, we're about a minute from LOS. Uh, everything's looking real good. Your uh, computer and everything is fine. Uh, most possible idea we can think for your 1106 alarm was uh, if you turned your DUA off about uh, when your computer was running, that might have possibly caused it. Assuming that the video is not unduly pixelated, basically this is what level 15 looks like as far that's as ortho 4 XP photo scenery. Roger, that's your digital uplink assembly. Level 16 would double the resolution, and that means a fourfold okay. increase in the space it takes up. And then level 17 again doubles it and takes up four times more room. Basically, one degree latitude by one degree longitude takes up half a gigabyte at level 15. And at level 16, about two gigabytes. And at level 17, about eight gigabytes. So... So yeah, have to be judicious. This is Apollo Control. We've had loss of signal from Intrepid and Yankee Clipper. As the two spacecraft uh, still docked, went uh, around the corner of the visible face of the moon, visible to the naked eye and to the antenna at the tracking station. To review briefly, again, some of the upcoming events leading to the second manned lunar landing. Mm, this the river is looking proper. The undocking is scheduled to take place shortly this after the acquisition of signal or Ticino, I don't know which. This will be Somebody had told me how to pronounce C's in Italian, but I forgot. As per the flight plan. The soft undocking will be done in a radial direction. That is, the two spacecraft will be aligned toward the lunar surface so that the motion is radial as opposed to posigrade or retrograde when the undocking occurs. To accomplish this soft undocking, the probe is extended until the capture latches at the end of the probe are the only items still connecting the two spacecraft together. And then they're unlatched very gently. And this imparts a minimum amount of energy into the two spacecraft motions so as not to perturb the orbit. 
and cause any changes in the orbital measurements. Separation maneuver, which is a command module RCS maneuver, will take place at 108, 24, 42, velocity of 2.5 feet per second. This again is a radial maneuver which will produce a separation at the time of the descent orbit burn by the lunar module of about two and a half to three nautical miles. The descent orbit initiate maneuver, which will place Intrepid on a sort of elliptical orbit with a paracynthian of 8.3 nautical miles Apocynthian of 60.6 nautical miles will take place at 109 23 38. This will be a burn with the descent propulsion system engine. Retrograde 73.1 feet per second. This descent orbit initiate burn will be exactly opposite the point of power descent initiation. That is opposite in that it's 180 degrees away or prior to the DOI or PDI maneuver. <laughs> All these DOI, things. DOI, uh, as mentioned earlier, will put the Intrepid at 8.3 nautical miles above the surface. Past Pavia now. At the time of power descent initiate. This is some 260 nautical miles uprange of landing site 7. Power descent initiate. Again, a descent propulsion system maneuver with a retrograde velocity total all the way down to touchdown of 6,619 feet per second. Nice looking rest we'll stop over here. At 110, 20, I guess that's what it is. I don't know what it is. Touchdown is estimated but to take highway place straddling at buildings. Hmm. 31, 58. I don't know. It's on the map, whatever this Just is. Just prior to undocking, uh, the command module colored television camera will be. On. Just doesn't tell me what it is on the map. And uh, this will be approximately a 40 minute television pass. During the uh, period prior between soft undock and the separation burn, Dick Gordon in the command module will inspect the lunar module to see that they landing gear is deployed properly and it all looks ship shape for Intrepid to make the landing. We'll acquire Intrepid and Yankee Clipper again some 40 minutes and 40 seconds from now. And at 107 hours 4 minutes ground elapsed time this is Apollo Control. So yeah, it's interesting about how they're separating from each other to impart minimal impulse to uh, either vehicle, mainly to the lunar this is module. Apollo control, 107 hours, 44 minutes, ground elapsed time. Obviously, we sometimes have that problem in Kerbal Space Program. Signal, and this the 13th revolution around the moon. Where decoupling imparts too much force. Coming up uh, in nine minutes, 34 seconds on. Uh, the so-called soft undocking in which Intrepid and Yankee Clipper will uh, separate and remain separated until rendezvous with that acquisition of signal on the lunar module. Standing by for communications to begin. Yankee Clipper here. Yankee Clipper Houston, loud and clear. 
Okay, if you'll kill my tape for me, I'll get the TV on. Roger. Thank you. And Intrepid reads you loud and clear at Houston. We're ready for undocking. Roger, Intrepid, and uh, we read you the same. So on Apollo 11, they were supposed to do video, uh, TV transmission during the undocking. Uh, Mike Collins decided, and Brown agreed that it was an unnecessary complication at the time. But here with Apollo 12, they seem to be planning to do the TV transmission. Here's mission control. The flight director, Cliff Charlesworth, is polling all the positions for a go for undocking. Roger, roger. And once again, I wish we, I could find the TV transmissions somewhere, but I have not found them for Apollo 12. It's possible people have them lying on tape somewhere and just haven't digitized them, as is true with a lot of things uh, NASA related. And, you know, a lot of libraries in general. They just have the physical stuff and... Yankee Clipper and Intrepid have been given a go for undocking. This was uh, drowned out by uh, the commentator's last comments. And it hasn't uh, just just hasn't been digitized. We are passing the Poe River. That's the one that we have just passed. Fairly important river in Italy. Very meandering. Yankee Clipper Houston, uh, copy and TV. Okay, thank you. Can you see me waving at you, Jerry? You better have Dick focus it. Okay. It's focused, it's just dark where he is. Television now coming down from Yankee Clipper looking out the window at uh, Intrepid, one of the quads of RCS thrusters visible in the upper right hand corner of the picture. Well, we're going to get to enjoy a sunset one way or another. Horizon's actually looking pretty good. It's resetting the weather a little bit. Four minutes and we're standing by, we're ready to go. Okay, don't forget to the dock. You'll probably get a little jar out there to uh, let it damp for a little bit. We're okay, more than halfway through the flight. I'm free, I'm along for the ride to Lim. Okay. Forty-seven at one minute thirty seconds. Okay. Mark, there you go. One thirty. Okay, and then I'm going to dial up a verb seventy-seven and stand by on the end as soon as you release me. Dick. 
footpaths look kind of good. I see you with your landing gear down for a change. Come on, get the count. Okay, here you go again. Maybe. Back off, Dick. Uh -oh. There he goes. Watch out for static. I just wanted to wait that, let that damp beat. Audio's been pretty okay, good so I, far. I got uh, minus, uh, I got minus one and uh, nothing, so forget it. Intrepid Houston looks good. On the tube, Jerry. Real good, Dick, real good. Okay. So we're... Okay, Dick, you're on left 60. Hey, Pete, you're cutting that out to me. Roger, go off box. Approaching Tortona. That's where the junction of highways is. And somewhere to our right is Alessandria. Forward right. Check. How do you read uh, Yankee Clipper? One, okay. two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. How's that? River we're fo River we're following is Torrente Scrivio. Oh, Scrivia. Uh, Houston, the picture is beautiful. Torrento Scrivia. Torrento Scrivia. I don't know. What a sight is it sure is, Dick. Uh, we're copying Pete's yaw maneuver now. Hey, firm. Just about got it completed. Okay, Dick, how do you read me? I'm clear now, Pete. All right, pitching up 90. Okay, so this town uh, is Tortona. And your uh, FM is breaking up on occasion. What? What's breaking up? Your FM is breaking up. It's looking good now. Sort of ironic that as a result of them reducing the bit rate. Reducing the bitrate on the videos, I've decided to increase the resolution and bitrate in order to ensure that it's shown properly. I imagine this the opposite thing that they wanted to have happen. Uh, oh well. Some difficulty being encountered in locking on with the steerable high gain antenna on the command module to get a good TV picture and uh, communications. Hey, 
Hey, you look pretty nice over there, Yankee. Oops, some sudden hits. hesitation. Hey, Nick, you read me? Let's go to B. Yankee Clipper, Houston, how do you read? Airstrip Clipper, loud clear. Roger. Hey, Houston, tell him to turn off his uh, box because he's cutting out his own VHF. Airstrip Clipper, Yankee Clipper, say again. Okay, you were cutting out your own VHF being on box. Your camera was keying it. Uh, sorting out communications, always the big thing. Okay. I'm off a of box now and you're cutting out on me now. Okay, how's that? Okay, that's better. Stay there. Okay, you got it on me. I'm not going to touch anything again. Yankee Clipper, I'll turn on my tracking light for a minute, see if you see it. Intrepid Houston with a DOI pad. I've got it now. I've got your light. Just a second, Houston. Okay, standing by. From here, you can see the highway winds its way through a coastal range to get to Genoa. Okay, that, that broke up completely. Intrepid Houston, C-30, LEM Maneuver, DOI pad. Noun 3-3, three, three. One, zero, niner. Two, three, three, niner, four, one. Noun 81, minus zero, zero, seven, zero, eight. All zeros, plus. Zero, zero, one, five, one. Noun 42. Zero, zero, six, zero, five. Plus, zero, 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 eight, three. Zero, zero, seven, two, four. Burn time. Zero, two, niner. Zero, zero, zero. Two, niner, seven. Ags, minus, zero, zero, seven, zero, niner. Plus all zips. Plus, zero, zero, one, four, four. The rest is N-A. Over. Roger, copy, one, zero, nine, two, three, three, nine, four, one. Minus zero zero seven zero eight. All zip plus zero zero one five one. Zero zero six zero five plus zero 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 eight three. Zero zero seven two four. Zero two nine zero 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 two nine seven. Minus zero zero seven zero nine plus all zip plus zero zero one four four. So you can see where we are right now. Break the computer's yours. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Thank you. Can't get any good pictures of you today, Dickie. The sun's not in the right place. Okay, we'll do it tomorrow. Clipper, Houston. Go ahead, Houston. Roger, uh, have you tried reacquisition on the high gain? And if you have, uh, why don't you try secondary transponder? And Trepid Houston with a no PDI plus 12 pad. Yep. Break, break, uh, Houston, this is Intrepid. If it'd be any help to you, 
Yankee Clippers, that band antenna is just wandering. Uh, it's just oscillating back and forth in two directions like it uh, can't hold rock. Roger, Pete, thanks. It looks like it's in some sort of continual search mode. Ready to copy the note PEDI plus 12. Roger, Al. Now on 3 3. 1 1 0. 3 2. So, this is if they zero, don't do four, the power seven, descent initiation. Zero. After 12, I think, hours, there's a maneuver. Or is it 12 minutes? Don't know. Plus zero, one, three, one, zero. Now in 42. Probably 12 minutes. That would make more sense. One, four, seven, six. Plus zero, zero, one, three, three. Zero, one, seven. Some of the five, distant peaks six, don't seem to be quite working out right time. still. Zero, four, one. Zero, zero, zero. One, niner, niner. Still Ag pretty nice. Plus, pretty zero, nice out. One, one, four, eight. All zip. Plus, zero, one, three, two, Eight. Down eleven. One, one, one. One, seven. All zips. Now in thirty-seven. One, one, two. Five, eight. All zips. Over. It's just that. Roger, Houston, suspicious one, peak zero, right two, there two, that's zero, bothering four, me. Seven, zero. Plus zero, one, one, all zip. Plus zero, one, three, one, zero. Zero, one, four, seven, six. Plus zero, zero, one, three, three. Zero, one, seven, five, six. Zero, four, one, zero, zero, zero. One, nine, nine. Plus zero, one, one, four, eight. All zip. Plus zero, one, three, two, eight. One, 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 seven, all zip. One, one, two, that's affirmative, Al. Uh, I've got your PDI pad, and your PDI is less than 10 and greater than 10. Better go, then. Roger, Al. PDI. TIG. One, one, zero. Take his time Two, of ignition, zero. just remember. Three. Seven, Whoa, five, bit of a eight. Wiggle. Now I'm 61. Zero, niner, four, two. Minus, zero, 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 four, niner. FDAI, three, five, six. One, one, zero. Zero, zero, zero. Beta 231 is plus. Five six niner six zero. PDI less than ten. Now in thirty seven. One one two five eight. All zips. PDI greater than ten. Now in thirty seven. One one four five seven. All zips. Over. Roger, copy one one zero two zero three seven five eight zero nine four two minus zero 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 four nine three five six one one zero 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 plus five six nine six zero one one two five eight all zip one one four five seven all zip. That's affirmative, Al. I have uh, T two for you now. Only a hint of sun left. Go. Roger, T2 abort. 
Tig, one, one, zero, four, two, zero, two, zero, zero. Down 37, one, one, six, five, six, all zips. T2 at TDI plus two, one minutes, two, five seconds, over. Roger, one one zero four two zero two zero zero. One one six five six all zip two one two five. Roger, T three if you're ready. I don't suppose this has lights. <laughs> we are ready. Roger, T three, tick. I don't know what that one, is, so one, I won't touch two, it. Two seven four two zero zero. I usually T22 click lights on. Let me check at one, one, what the keyboard two, is for lights. Two, five, zero, zero. Break, Yankee Clipper, you're coming on loud and clear on the TV now. Hi, Roger. I had to go to manual on my high gate. It won't stay locked on. Oh, guess I can't There's do it like that. It's steady over there now, Dick. I guess uh, something went wrong with the auto track. Yeah, it's because I'm in manual. It's staying there now. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Just wobbles a little bit when you fire a thruster. Read back, Houston is one one two two seven four two zero zero. Lights. One one well, two two five zero zero. That's, that's a whole out. lot of generic lights. Sixty four of them. Jeez. Nothing's assigned. Well, for though. Houston, uh, did you try the secondary transponder before you went to manual? Apparently. Nothing about cockpit lights either. That's primitive. Roger. Intrepid Houston, I have your gyro torque control. The auto lock mechanism. Okay, well. I guess I won't bother to... Well, this is getting worse. I swear. Uh, let's see. Hold it just a minute. We'll be right with you. Okay, stand by. Better be careful how I follow this highway. I can see those trees right there. I guess it would be more legit for me to do this in the cockpit view. Copy. Roger, your LEM gyro torque angles, X minus zero, 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 four, five. Y is minus zero, 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 three, five. Z is minus zero, 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 niner, two. Over. Roger, copy to minus zero, 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 four, five. Minus zero 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 three five and minus zero 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 nine two. Affirmative. Break. Clipper Houston with a map update. Rev fourteen. Okay, go, and I copied all the other. Roger, Dick. LOS one zero eight. Oh, five, I think you're supposed six, to turn right there. Five eight one zero nine er. Two one three eight one zero niner four three zero four over. Roger one zero eight five six five eight one zero nine two one three eight one zero nine four three zero four. A firm. And I'm standing by for step. Roger deck.
Should have got my bush flying wheels on. Just to get the right feel for things. Hey, just a descent on a pretty day. Germany, Pete. Looks like because of your tracking, Dick, they raised the landing site altitude about 2,400 feet. <laughs> uh. Is that for the mask and concentrations? Remember, they're trying. Okay, Houston, I guess you saw the landing radar self test that came out 4 0. Roger, Pete, we copy that. They're trying to land at Surveyor 3, so. I, I don't think they're randomly Houston, changing uh, the landing like location. On transmitter power on that. So I didn't quite get that joke. Okay, wait one. They were both 3.6. Roger, copy. Actually, uh, actually the velocity x meter was 3.62, and the altitude x meter was 3.60. Roger. Town in front of us is Busala. Uh, here's the Yankee Clipper. Go ahead, Clipper. In the middle of all these hills. I'll go back to uh, primary transponder here as soon as we separate. I've just been adding help in a bit. Looks like I've lost the auto track feature in the high gain. Uh, Roger, Dick. We concur on that. Uh, going to see which one. I think I'm supposed to follow the one on the left here. All right, Conrad, you're stealing our thunder now. <laughs> okay. Just trying to help out. You keep your mic just sure. ahead of me. Oh, that's why we left it the first place. You both recall that's why we left it in the first place. Yeah, but it wasn't breaking locked in here. Just getting uh, intermittent signal uh, strength. Let's get now. The only reason I'm beating you, Jerry, is I'm 257,000 some odd miles closer to it. Okay, I think we can sort of see Genoa on the coast there. Uh, Roger, Pete. Uh, the way things are looking right now, you're going to be starting PDI about five miles north of track, and uh, during the descent, you're going to be steering south. Five miles north of track, okay. As long as it knows it, it's okay with me. So yeah, the city is sort of shoved up against the coast by all these hills and mountains surrounding it. We only have uh, this little passageway through the coastal range and then otherwise uh, the sea. Clipper, Houston, uh, are you going to try those primary servo electronics? Sort of an uh, ideal location to foster sea-focused peoples. And of course, the airport that we're going to land at is named for Christopher Columbus. Yeah, the antenna's not moving around at all. It appears to be locked on tight. Uh, Clipper Houston, are you in auto now? That's 
So I think directly in front is the port area and then to the left will be the city of Genoa and then to the right is the airport. We'll be going down along the coast uh, eventually to Rome. Next trip will be to Rome. Intrepid Houston, uh, give us a mark with one uh, minute to go to SEP, would you? That'll be in the Piaggio P180 Avanti. Uh, it's already one minute. Uh, so much faster plane uh, than we've been flying seconds. recently. Past few flights have been flying slower stuff. Mark, 45 seconds. We will pick up the pace. With that uh, Yankee Clipper? I don't have every G yet, Pete. Okay, uh, I, I uh, may have copied the time down wrong or something. 108, 24, 42. Okay, 42. I got 22. Average I G is on. Normal time. Average G. Very good. I'll be watching you. Okay, we'll be looking for you too. Okay, there he goes. He's burning. Intrepid Houston, uh, you were off on that figure by 20 seconds. Uh, CSM was right. Yeah, I had the wrong time. He's burning now, and uh, he looks good out there. Roger. Uh, we're a little bit too close to the train. <laughs> Let me pull up a bit. Burn complete. Bye-bye. See you, troops. So they have finally separated. And probably the next video, they're going to start the landing. I'll have to... Maybe I'll do two flights in the next video just to get the landing in. I don't know. So, city of Genoa. Extends much further in that direction. And the airport is right there. So... Clipper Houston, uh, you can terminate every fee now. Done. It's done. Uh, I think I'm actually okay, too close to the airport. Data link for you anytime you want to send us his state vector. Let's fly fly around a bit. I uh, will be ready in about three minutes, Pete. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take the computer. Give me a holler when you're ready. Roger. Let's see what this looks like from outside. Whoa, 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 okay. I think there's wind. There's 21 knots of wind. Okay. We're taking them, we're taking them. 
All right. Yeah, let me stick to the cockpit then. Oh, and zoom, please. Oh, here. Clear for Houston, loud and clear. Uh, let me just go around here. I hope I don't block any airliners that happen to be passing by. Do have a TV on the Omni? That's negative, Clipper. Okay, I'll secure it. Uh, Clipper, Houston, uh, would you check your Delta VCG switch to CSM? CSM, thank you. Get some luminescent dials on this Piper Cub. Trumpet Clipper going to duplex the in ranging. You've got a light okay. on the compass. That's good. We're not ready for you yet, but you can go ahead there and we'll come up in a minute. Okay, we're coming up now. Okay. Don't talk to me for a minute. Uh, I didn't really separate myself very much. I guess I'm slow enough. In fact, the, the, the pappy lights say I'm too low. That doesn't seem right. Ready with that up data link, oh. yeah, Houston? Uh, That's a nice cool light data. now. You got it, two and data. Roger. And traffic, Houston, uh, we got another delay. It'll be about a minute before we can start it up. Okay. Okay, well, okay. Please tell me I'm on the ground. I think I'm on Intrepid the ground. Houston, it's on its way. Oh, might not have been. Out. Out. Okay, okay. Now I'm on the ground. Right. Uh, zoom out. Need to zoom out. Intrepid Houston, uh, you ready for your data? Uh, okay. Um... Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, it's on the way. Taxiing, taxiing. Got you two tenths of a mile. Uh, there should be a taxiway somewhere. I think maybe... That one... Yeah, that, that looks like things are turning. Okay. gotta be away somewhere around here. All right, well, there's a cruise ship in the back there. And I have slowed down. I'll, I'll just park it here. I can't actually see anything right now. So, uh, I'll pause the audio and I'll definitely oh, remember great deal out of plane. to pick it up there and hopefully we'll get the landing in in the next video but the planned flight to Rome will only take an hour there's another flight after that from Rome to Venice that'll be another 30 odd minutes uh, maybe more than that depending how I fly but uh, with this mostly invisible Piper Cub I'll say thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video please do press like if you have any If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.